Uh, we have a great guest, special guest in studio today, Coach Brad Lowe. Hey, how, how you doing, man? Doing well, doing well. Good. Brad Lowe is the new appointed head coach at Valley High School. Man, it's a pleasure yes, to have you here in our community. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's the first time I've been over here to LaGrange, and okay. I'm really excited to be here. You're really excited. Yep, he, he, he likes uh, what he saw outside, so Absolutely. he'll probably be coming back later on in the future. That's right. Um, you're new to our community, and a lot of people don't know you. Um, we'll just rewind the tape back just a little bit. Okay. Um, tell us what you, high, high school, where did, did you graduate high school from? I graduated from Tallahassee High School back in 1994. Okay. And so uh, I'm, I'm familiar with the central Alabama in, in the West Georgia strip here, but mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm vaguely, that's, that's kind of where I grew up around is central Alabama. Central Alabama. The yes. Tallahassee Tigers. Uh, Tallahassee remember Tigers. Randy Stokes? Randy Stokes, yes. <laughs> Auburn. That's got right. So much, so much I, I knew his brother Steve Stokes pretty uh -huh. well. We, he and I are, are friends, so I, he, his sons were playing when I was coaching there at Tallahassee, so I'm okay. familiar with that family. Okay, all right. So you, you, you coached at Tallahassee, too? I did. I did. I coached so was that there your for, first job? It was. Okay. I, uh, I coached there for seven years mm -hmm. and, you know, went on from there, but yeah, I started first at Tallahassee. Tallahassee. So what was that like to come back to your alma mater? and um, pouring to the kids? Uh, it, it, was, it was a blessing for me because it, you know, it, it got me, I did not originally go into, into coaching. I, had, okay. I was a, you know, graduated in college from, uh, from business, and, but I got a call from my former, one of my former teachers and coaches that was not then the principal, and they asked me to really consider to go back and teach and coach, and I took them up on it, mm -hmm. was there for seven years, and it really propelled me to kind of put me on track to know this is what I want to do uh, that, you know, chose my career for mm -hmm. me, basically. So so that was not your intentions in the beginning? No, it was not. It was not at all. And uh, and I later found out I was very convicted for I had the wrong intentions and in, in about wow. not going into ball, and, and I was kind of led back that way. I was I felt like I was, was called to do so. Good. And so that's that's been my biggest thing is that I've, I really enjoy being around the boys. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I enjoy, you know, the lessons that you learn through mm -hmm. ball and trying mm -hmm. to convey that to them. Mm -hmm. That's what I enjoy and, and, and do it for. And I like to teach. I like, like to teach. teach. I like teaching the classroom and I like to teach on the field and in the weight room and everywhere else. I enjoy learning myself. Wow. So you say this is a calling on your life. Absolutely. That's awesome, man, because a lot of people don't look at it like that, you know, that it's a calling. Well, if you don't or if it's not, then you're going to be even more frustrated than you're going to get <laughs> besides what comes with the job. Right. So, uh, you know, there has to be joy in that and there has to be, you know, a sense of, uh, you know, building something greater than yourself. It's not really about me and those are all cliches and, right. you know, you see them on, on uh, pictures on the wall and that sort of thing, but you have to kind of live by it if you're going to stay in that. Okay, all right. Just want to let you know you said it was calling on your life, so if you want to talk about the Lord on this station, that's perfectly fine with us. We have no problem with that. Well, <laughs> I, that's, uh, that's great to know, and that makes me right there know that I'll be back. I, I really enjoy, you know, I, I try to make sure that I grow, and, and we try to convey as much as we can to the kids. We want to grow in mind, in mm -hmm. body, and in spirit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't try to force them, you know, spirituality, mm -hmm. but I do encourage them to, to try to think about outside of themselves that, the, right. that there is something that's greater than all of us and, you know, uh, have that greater sense. Now, whether that means, you know, it's the Lord above, which I, I would hope that, that they would come into mm -hmm. saving knowledge of, but, mm -hmm. but even just with the team or their right. community, family, some extension to them that, you know, is not about, all about them. Right. Because, you know, especially right. we all are somewhat selfish, but especially yeah, when you're yeah. 15, 16 years old. It, <laughs> my, my, my. That's right. In <laughs> this day so, and time, wow. No doubt. Now, did you, did you play football yourself? I did, actually. They let me play football. They let you play? But I, I, <laughs> I played three sports at Tallahassee. I actually played basketball, mm -hmm. baseball, and football. So. Okay. Were you pretty good? Mediocre? I was okay. okay. Yeah, I was I was pretty good. I was I was a decent athlete. You know, I wasn't a standout, but I was pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, tell us about your coaching experience after Tallahassee. Um, tell us a little bit more about your coaching experience and some of the places that you've been. Okay. Um, when I was at Tallahassee, I uh, was there for seven years. You know, I kind of felt like that I wanted to, 
I want to expand. I want it to grow. Mm -hmm. This is the path that I wanted to do. And so I knew to really grow, mm -hmm. to gain more knowledge, to get more experience, that I was going to have to kind of get out of there. Okay. You know, being the hometown guy, mm -hmm. uh, you know, setting your ways, you kind of, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to be there doing that for 20 right. years. I wanted to try to grow and move. So anyway, mm -hmm. I went to Thompson High School uh, in Alabaster, mm -hmm. which was, you know, a, it was a larger classification, right. 6A, mm -hmm. uh, different place, different people, get out of your comfort zone, mm -hmm. you know, put yourself in a position to try to grow that way. Mm -hmm. I did that. That enabled me, I stayed there one year, that enabled me to get to uh, Prattville, Alabama, which at that time was in, you know, had won three straight state championships. Right. And right. so I was there for three years. That essentially is what kind of made me for the most part of most of my strategy mm -hmm. about how to do things. And I, I got a lot of it from there. I was there from 09 to 12. And one of the assistant coaches there got a head coaching job, mm -hmm. asked me to go with him to be the defensive coordinator at Northview High School in Dothan. Wow. And so I took him <laughs> up on it, mm -hmm. went down there for two years. Um, Happened to get an, off, an offer way back up on the other side of the state at, up at Gadsden City in Gadsden, Alabama uh, to be the defense coordinator up there. So I went up there mm -hmm. for the last two years and actually live in that area still. My still. wife, my, my wife and two boys are involved in the system there right now. Okay. So I'm down here All right. and they're up there. Wow, transition. <laughs> so it's definitely a nomadic experience mm -hmm. that, which I never intended at all, you know, mm -hmm. I, as far as I knew, I was going to be around that area, right? You know, from here on out. But it's kind of led me to bounce around the, the state of Alabama, and um, as we talked earlier, right. I've, we've really enjoyed that. It's mm -hmm. really felt like it's made our family closer, uh, and you know, and able to, you know to teach my kids about how to get in front of people and right. how to you know make new friends. That's and good. So it's. It's it's been it's been good. Now, how how old are your boys? They're eight and ten. Eight and ten. Right okay. now they're in in the baseball season. So, mm -hmm. and you know I didn't want them to play ball because they felt like I want them to do. But I was always type whatever season it was. That's what I'm doing. That's you what know? you're doing. If okay. it was football, baseball, basketball, or tennis, I'm I'm there. You there? Okay. All right. Now, coach, you've been around a lot of looks like a lot of uh, big time football, a lot of big time programs. What actually attracted you to Valley when you, when you heard that position was open? What drew you to put your name in the hat for that position? It's a good question, um, and w one that you better be able to answer <laughs> as a prospective coach. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not the type that, obviously, with bouncing around and taking different spots, I'm not the type that I wanted to just have a particular label on my name. You know, I'm mm -hmm. I'm the head coach. I don't. I don't ever really think about it. Mm -hmm. I'm just another guy. Mm -hmm. Now I've got to make the choices, of course, and mm -hmm. decisions. But um, I had kind of, as I was moving around, I would kind of had my eye on Valley because traditionally they've had good talent. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, oh, yeah. they've had a good football culture. Mm -hmm. uh, the size of the school was something that was a draw to me. Mm -hmm. You know, especially trying to decide and make sure the right fit for my first head coaching job was, mm -hmm. it kind of had a lot of those boxes that you could check. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's got good, it's a good size. Um, you know, it's not it's not your big city type school, but mm -hmm. yet it's it's a, a smaller town, a little bit more conducive to my personality, mm -hmm. the the type of students that are there. Uh, that's what I've worked with before. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, that's what I like to work with. Those are the people that I like to work with. Mm -hmm. So it it it's a lot of those things that was a draw to me. So and I kind of kept my eye on it as I was bouncing around, just kind of seeing how they're doing because it was from this this central Alabama area mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I was vaguely familiar. When you know, I've, so I've had some experience playing ballet for four with uh, other schools. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean the the fam familiarity with the type of program that it was, the type of kids that I would be working with, mm -hmm. the size of the school, mm -hmm. uh, the the tradition that it's had, mm -hmm. uh, those are all things that were draws, draws. to me that it kind of put together to make it a good, nice 
fit if everything went right. Okay, all right. Now, how would you describe your coaching, your leadership? Are you, are you more, um, more aggressive or more passive what, as it relates to your leadership style? <laughs> well, uh, I try to be both, actually. Okay, that's a good answer. I try to be both. Uh -huh. um, experience, uh, you can't replace it. Mm. And, and experience doesn't necessarily mean number of years in, but it means being in different types of situations. And that was kind of one of my reasons that I chose to bounce around a little bit is because I wanted to get a different sense of, you know, different backgrounds, uh, you know, uh, different areas. Some kids up north, they act a little bit different than the ones in the <laughs> south, and, right, and that right. sort of thing. And then, but uh, no, I, I'm. I would say I'm aggressive by nature. That you know, when it's time to work, I want to go to work, mm -hmm. and I, I want to get it done. Mm -hmm. And there's no, you don't give me why you can't type thing. <laughs> but when we're away from that, when it's, I, I want. I want to be supportive. You know, right. there's times that you've got to, you know get after it mm -hmm. and kind of be demanding and, and, and be the bad cop sometimes and mm -hmm. I don't mind doing that at all. I don't look for it, mm -hmm. but I will do it because mm -hmm. it's necessary. Mm -hmm. um, but I love the opportunity to get with the boys about and just talk to them and let them be kind of kids a little bit. And, right, right. You know, I, I would prefer everything to be as passes as I, as I can, but mm -hmm. by nature, I'm not a passive guy. I'm, I'm, I'm going after it. So. You're going after it. Absolutely. So they better be ready to work. When it's time to work, <laughs> they better be ready to work. Now, when we're off, be off. Be off. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're bringing, um, I, I already hear that you made some changes already coming into the program. Um, well, not really changes, but just some things that, you know, the guys are going to have to, you know, put their work in. Absolutely. What, what do you deem yourself as being successful as a coach in, in, in your new adventure at Valley High School? What, 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 what are we are you measuring your success on? Okay, yeah. good question. Mm -hmm. um, and th I mean, that's one of those things that, uh, you know, how do you define success? What, is, what does success mean? Does success mean to you we're going to be 10 and 0? <laughs> and then, you know, it, to me, I try to put success as on you know, small steps early. You know, are we accountable for what we're doing? Are the kids, good, are, good. are the kids, is there a greater awareness for their academics? Mm. Do they come to meetings on time? Mm -hmm. Are they doing all their workouts? Those are successes to me that will ultimately define what your program is, what you want it to become. Mm. You know, so I don't want to focus on the end result right now you know mm -hmm. would we want to win every single game absolutely true is that what we're working for sure mm -hmm. uh is that realistic going in you know a month after i've been there <laughs> i don't know to me it's i don't want to worry about it exactly. whether it is or it is not mm -hmm. i just want to focus on what we're doing today mm -hmm. you know that's it i, mean, I want to have the best workout we can uh i want to make sure all the boys are going to class that right that they're not disrespectful to teachers, that they have good manners, that they pick up after themselves. You know, when we say come at 3.30 to get your equipment, are you there at 3.30 to get your equipment? Those mm -hmm. type of things. So mm -hmm. the way that we want to measure success is are we doing what we say we're going to do, number one, and we are we holding each other accountable, number two. I think if we do that, then we will have a successful first year and the, whatever the record is, it, what it is, and we'll worry about that next year. Okay. But I think the, the wins and all will, will come if we're focused on those type things first. Okay, all right. And I'm gonna ask you one last question, then I'm gonna let you get out of here. Okay. Um, maybe far-fetched or whatnot. Um, Valley has, what, about 60 ball players on the team, give or take? Well, it, and, uh, and I know you probably don't know that yet, but well, no, we've. I mean, I can say what we have, uh, roughly what we have coming out right now. We've mm -hmm. we've got about a hundred that's mm -hmm. going to be out there for spring practice. Now that's <laughs> that's ninth through. That will be ninth through twelfth grade. Mm -hmm. um, I would prefer to. We've had about thirty-five to forty or so eighth graders to come after school mm -hmm. three days a week to work out, which is a pretty good number for one class. Mm -hmm. I'd like to try to get back to where we had a strictly ninth grade team. Ninth grade team, okay. But All right. we'll have about 100, give or take, 
right now. Okay. All right, there's going to be a lot of times where people don't agree with Coach Lowe. A lot of times people don't agree with Coach Lowe's uh, decisions. That's right. A lot of people um, may put their mouth on Coach Lowe. Um, what, what is your recipe for handling adversity or being scrutinized? Well, you obviously have to have thick skin. Okay. Uh, thick you know, skin. it It comes with the territory. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that where they're coming from, that they are protective of their student, and they want the best for their, their kid, and so do I. Mm -hmm. However, from my perspective, with a coach, you have to, you know, well, there is just looking at their kid. I'm looking right. at all Everybody. of them, you mm -hmm. know, individually mm -hmm. and collectively. You know, what's what's they have to have a sense of what's best for the team. Um, I don't think that you can treat every situation the same and be a cookie cutter type thing, <laughs> but you have to be fair, and you mm -hmm. should be fair. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the same way in life. You know, if you, you know, if you commit a, if you go 40 and a 35, it's not the same ticket as you would get if you go in there and hold up the bank. That's you know? a good analogy. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to say, well, he did this, so you get that. I mean, it, it's going to be an individual basis, and that makes it more personal to me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's more of a personal development for the, the student. We want to develop them in, like I said before, three different ways. It's not just about football, I think. If you take care of those other things, the, the football kind of comes through. Right. But you, to, to finish with your question, um, you know, I won't talk about other kids with somebody else's parent. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to take time. You know, it's not going to be stop if we're in the middle of practice. And I'll be glad to talk with any parent any time, any day. Mm -hmm. They want to, but it needs to be, you know, when we can sit down and right. discuss it right. with right. us and them. Mm -hmm. And be prepared to listen to what they have to say, mm -hmm. to understand, to have it basically documented on, well, this is one of the decisions that we've made, and then be ready to show it to them, and they understand, well, okay, well, this is, be ready to know why it is. Mm. You know, have you come watch practice? Uh -huh. Let's we'll put on the film. <laughs> here's, your, here's the write-ups for the students' uh, teachers saying that he's doing this, that, and the other. Right. Those are the reasons why he's not playing. Gotcha. Got Not it. just, well, we think Johnny's better. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, Coach, thank you for coming to be a guest. Thank you. On the morning, bro. Thank Bruce, you for having me. Morning, bro. <laughs> I, I was calling him brother on Sly, okay? So That's right. Morning, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Uh, much success, man. I know you're going to make a, a huge impact in our community and uh, the program at Valley High School. And uh, we're here for you. And uh, anytime you need us, let us know. Well, thank and you so much. We're going to try. We're okay. Gonna, we're going to go to work and try. Okay. All right.